Welcome back. We continue now with our ongoing discussions with City Council incumbents who are pitted against each other now that ward boundaries have been redrawn and council cut to 25 seats. The election is only eight days away, so it is coming down to the wire. Tonight, we are joined by Etobicoke North councillors who are now both running in the newly formed Ward 1, Vince Crescenti and Michael Ford. Thank you both for being here tonight. Thank Good you evening. for having us. Good evening. You are political allies, friends. You have both for obvious reasons, at least in your case, Michael Ford, allegiances to the Ford family. Vince Crescenti, you have been unfailingly loyal to that family. Both of you can credit where you are today and the position that you're in today to the Ford family. Was it a tough decision for you, Vince, to run this time? Well, quite frankly, uh, uh, Pam, no, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. I registered, registered my intent to run on May 1st prior to the reduction of size of council. I'm committed to serving my community. I have been then. I am fully committed now. Nothing has changed at my end. So I've stayed the course. What has changed is the reduction in size of council from 47 to 25, and I'm fully committed to continue to serve my constituents because this is what I do, and I uh, am very passionate about it. You didn't know them on May 1st Correct. that you'd be running against your friend and no, ally. but I stayed the course. I'm, not, I'm committed to, again, serving my constituents, and I have a plan. I have a vision. Uh, you know, I have many, uh, I got a great track record, a lot of successes, and uh, I don't walk away from what I do. And, uh, you know, we have to continue building Etobicoke North. We have to continue building on, on my successes, and that's what I'm here for, just to uh, serve my constituents and make sure that they get the at-the-door service that uh, they deserve. Michael Ford, you cruised to victory two years ago in a by-election in your uncle's old ward, thanks in large part, I think you can agree, uh, from support from Ford Nation. How much of a factor will that connection be a week from now? Well, look, uh, Pam, uh, I, I've been busy serving my constituents over the past four years as the TDSB trustee and as the councillor. And, and when they called me, I showed up at their door. Uh, we've been very busy on uh, some key projects for North Etobicoke, such as passing the Woodbine redevelopment and the revitalization of Islington and Rexdale happening right now. Um, so I think uh, we've been working very hard for uh, in the community and for the constituents uh, to really be investing. Um, of course, uh, having uh, Doug as uh, or the premier as an ally is uh, is great, and, and uh, we work uh, very well together, of course. But um, but at the end of the day, it's my name on the ballot, and uh, I'm proving myself to the uh, residents of North Etobicoke. Some would argue, Vince, that you've had a, a long and successful political career, eight years already as councillor before amalgam amalgamation, a councillor for Etobicoke. Has there been any pressure at all from your friend Premier Doug Ford to retire? You're 65 now, you could. Um, and let uh, his nephew take the reins. No, absolutely not. I mean, uh, look, uh, like I said earlier, Pam, I registered my intent on May 1st. I've had a great track record. When we were talking about the Woodbine Racetrack, I passed that, uh, that uh, on council back in July of 2015, and that's well before Michael even came on board. So I've, I've uh, attracted a lot of development. I work very closely with businesses because what my constituents tell me is they want jobs. So I'm the only city councillor that hosts two regular business roundtables a year. And uh, I encourage our local businesses to hire locally. And, you know, we've, uh, we've also had, uh, you know, unfortunately, citywide uh, spike in crime and I've advocated uh, you know for uh, for um, uh, more police officers I've advocated for more outreach programs I in fact I'm again the only city councillor that put forward a motion two council meetings prior to the season ending uh, to uh, to discuss uh, to have an emergency meeting to discuss the spike in crime and to make sure that uh, we, we begin to deal with this very serious issue because we can't ignore it for a lot of voters, this does come down to experience versus youth. Michael Ford, you are very young, just mm -hmm. 24, only two years experience on council, mm -hmm. a couple of years before that uh, with the TDSB. But do you really think you stand a chance against your opponent's experience? 
Well, look, what, what, what I have to say to that is I have experience uh, from the last uh, four years uh, fighting to keep taxes low and, and voting against uh, high property tax increases, voting against uh, high water rates, high garbage rates, and, and I can't say the same to my colleague respectfully, but I have been very focused on that, and that's been my experience, my track record. Um, I've been showing up to people's doors to serve them. When they call my office, they got a personal response and I'm at their door. Um, they, they expect, uh, you know, us to be listening to them, us to be working for them. Um, that's what I have done, and I've been uh, uh, fiercely um, working um, in, in much of that regard. And, and Pam, I can add, I have an impeccable record of customer service at the door. This is my background, this is what I do. And I can just suggest this, that when, particularly now, when you're reducing the size of council from 47 to 25, the territories have grown quite a bit. Etobicoke North now is more than twice the size of what it was before. Mm -hmm. And it takes that extra skill and experience. So I bring my life skills to the table, I bring my experience to the table, I'm able to manage that, because it's gonna take fine tuning, and excellent skills in managing that because uh, you know th th there's no other way of being able to do it successfully when you look at the ward size now from St Steeles Avenue down to Eglinton Avenue it's massive it's 125,000 constituents yeah, and huge. it's a lot of work so without those keen skills I don't believe anyone can do it unless they have the skills and the experience that I bring to the table. And it's quite clear that I think experience matters and people know this. It's their tax dollars and uh, the corporation of the City of Toronto has an, uh, an 11.2 uh, 11 billion dollar operating budget and it takes somebody with experience to be able to manage all that as well. Let's just talk quickly about Mayor Tory for a second. Sure. As big supporters of the Fords, um, you supported Doug Ford in his short run for mayor. In fact, were mm -hmm. ousted as deputy mayor because of that. You obviously support the Fords for, very, for, for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, is it safe to assume that you are not big fans of John Tory and are not backing him for re-election? I, I certainly wouldn't describe it in that way at all. Uh, you know, right now we're focused, uh, well, I'm focused completely, razor sharp focused in my own election and getting myself reelected. And, uh, you know, and you're absolutely right. I, I did, uh, d uh, you know, I've been a loyal a supporter of, uh, you know, the Ford family and Doug Ford. Um, and um, uh, and that's, that history speaks to that. Everybody knows what I've done for the Fords. However, we're in this situation, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe now is not <laughs> the time. Maybe now is not the time to you know look into the details of that. But clearly, I've been a loyal supporter of the Fords. I'm, I'm uh, an even more loyal supporter of my own constituents. I support my constituents. Mm -hmm. I'm there to serve them at their doorstep, and, and I'm you know, looking forward to continue to serve them for the next four years. Very quickly, are you um, openly supporting his opponent, Jennifer Kiesma? No, no, absolutely not. Um, look, I, I think some councillors are. I think you know. what uh, Councillor Crescenti said is right, and I think it's the right approach. Is that we need to be focused on our constituents. At the end of the day, um, one of us are going to be sent to city hall um, uh, to really deal with the serious issues that we have uh, with crime, uh, with affordability, with transit, and I think we need to be focused on uh, North Etobicoke. But whoever's elected mayor uh, on October 22nd, um, I look forward to uh, work with and producing results for uh, the residents in North Etobicoke. Well, good luck to you both and all the best and thank you again for being here tonight. And thank you for having us and uh, we'll uh, look forward to seeing you after the election. And during, actually, we will have and full during, coverage absolutely. of this race and many others uh, on election night coming up on October 22nd.